Welcome back to the Clashing Conferences podcast, baseball edition. I'm your lovely host, Matt, a.k.a. the Blonde Uncle Jesse. We're back for episode two. We weren't canceled after our first week. Here we go. I'm wearing my merch. Dreams come true. Cue the Kelly Clarkson music. Boys, how we doing? You miss me? Always. Good answer, Lewis. It's always. You might get a Six point. days a week. Good answer, Mike Jones. Paul? Yes. Good. Good answers, boy. Good yes. answers. Look how happy you made yes. the queen of mean. I like that. Yeah, he smiled you. again. Yeah, thanks a lot for that freaking Johnny Bravo. It's king of zing. <laughs> Listen, the people have spoken, okay? So I can't tell the people what to say or what to think. Okay? They wouldn't so have said anything if you didn't speak up. That's true. That is true. Also, you know, uh, sometimes we got to improv up here. That's how we roll. So, again... Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Clashing Conferences Baseball Edition Podcast. Again, for all our fans out there, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that, we're inviting you guys to throw in some questions in the comment section, whatever the case may be. If you have anything that you want to discuss with these guys up here on the panel, by all means, we would love to bring that to you. So again, we're inviting you guys. Go ahead, comment, ask questions. We'll take it in. Keep it PG-13. Keep it baseball-related. But these guys, they know more than just their team. So again, you can ask them about the other... 20 some odd teams in the league too if you have any questions but again we would like to get your input your feedback and your contributions so i think you guys are all cool with that right i'll take Absolutely. any input i can get from any fans i can get i pretty much gamble on all 30 teams sounds so like a match fan I'll take all the tips i can get i like it and i'm gonna offer a um a challenge to all of our Clash and Conferences podcast members because i don't i can't count that well right now but i know that we've got to have in the double digits for panelists and hosts. So I guess my question is, is how in the heck are we only getting six likes on Instagram? Come on, boys. We got to like our own stuff, right? Oh, I didn't know where you were going with that. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's guilty conscience just came out, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. Now we know who is not hitting the like button. So it's again, not Chris's fault. Conferences, it's guys. not Topher's Get up fault. There. Where's everybody at? Chat, comment, say something. Come on now. This is our platform to have fun. Yes, sir. Ooh. All right, boys. You want to go over the point system? Find out how we did. Yes, sir. Yeah, and I got to be course. honest. I'm I'm not doing, and I probably am not going to do too well with crunching these myself. I'm going to let Gambler, Mc, you know, McNumber over here talk all the smack about where the numbers are because I'm sure he's running the numbers all the time. Well, <laughs> but I will trust what you put on paper. I can, I can yeah. let my team do the talking this week, Paul. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Well, here is the breakdown, boys and girls. Tied for first with zero points, we have Mike Jones. Mike, would you like an explanation of your points? Sure. All right. So you were tied for most home runs with Paul, where you, each of your teams had five. Can't tell you what they were game because there was about 400 games played, if I'm getting that correct. So you got a point for the home runs. You tied. However, you also tied with Paul for most walks by a pitcher, which I do believe we established would be negative points if that were the case. Yep. Yes. Seems about right. Okay. So you're back down to zero. You went up to one, you went back down to zero. Now, you did end up getting the most hits. Your uh, Iglesias had, actually he was tied with three with the other two, but then he also had a game with four hits. So then you got another point. However, you said a naughty word. Good. Oh. Oh. So now you're back yeah, down to zero. So once again, Mike Jones, I've never seen anybody jump points like you. So, sir, you are tied with zero right that now. That all so makes sense. That all with. makes sense. I'm going to have to double check that uh, Paul tying me on the five home runs. So I didn't see that this week. Also, I could be wrong. I, I'm, I'm pretty stupid sometimes. So, you know, don't let, the, don't let this fool you. I com- Again, yeah, I, I respect that. the numbers you put on paper, Matt, and I completely expect you to double check it, Mike. So... Yeah, but yep. I'm going to say those right now. And I'll, at the I'll end of the year, while he explains your two, uh, your two points. And uh, I, well, I think at the end of the year, if it looks like it's a soccer score, 
I think it's still going to mean a uh, win's a win, right? Yes, win's sir. Doesn't have I to don't be think like it's going to look like a soccer score no, at know, the end of the year. We're going to score some points throughout oh, yeah. the rest of the season on this yeah, yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. But you know what I you mean. You never know. There might be a Matt multiplier week. I am the host. I have the ability to pull that card. So, oh, <laughs> I like it. All right, Lewis, you are also tied in first with zero. Uh, I don't have anything for you. You did. You did not predict anything, nor did you do anything wrong. So, good for you. Okay. I love it. Lewis got that Lewis is, got in the lead so, by doing. So, Lewis well, got well, in first well, place by doing nothing. Hey, listen, <laughs> like Paul said, doesn't matter how you win if it's just by one or ten mm-hmm. points. Mm-hmm. It Very is true. what it is. So I guess that means that's minus one for my, uh, what was it, the uh, the walks, right? That is correct, sir. Good job. But you're in second, so there you go. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Wait, I don't... He... I missed hey, something. But see, Paul, that's Paul that's how the standings if Paul are. If had five home runs, he wouldn't be at zero two. Oh, that is true. If he was tied, you're right. Yes. So, oh, three way tie with zero. Yes. Wow. Mike, th- helping others out. What a nice I, well, I, I'm, we also I'm haven't about validated to tear that up here. Yeah, we have Also true. <laughs> we validated. No. Yeah. Very true. There's but. Luckily, boys, we are in the all-star break, which kind of gives us the ability to take a second, pause, catch our breath, get ready for the second half of the season, trade deadline, everything coming up. With that said, who's coming in hot? This is what I want to know. Who's coming in hot? Mets are hot. Oh, there it is. Grimace is still oh, hot. My God. All right, Here Mike, let's go. hear it. Keep let's sending me these, these stupid memes in the text group about Grimace is dead on a team that won five out of six and seven out of nine going into the break, I would not say that's dead at all. I mean, seven and two, five and one is pretty solid in our last two, three series. I mean, we, we're trading for some some relief pitchers, building a little bit of depth there where I said we needed it. And I don't know if the playoffs started today. I believe we'd be the last wild card team right now. So I'm ready to go. Okay. Wow. You're ready to go. I'm I was not really ready hoping to beat the get... Phillies in the playoffs or anything, Lewis. But if your team was as crappy as hey, mine was two months ago, you'd be feeling pretty good about being where we're at right now. It's, too, it's okay. Bet. Get get your shine on while you can. Enjoy it while you know we're doing. While it. you can, it's okay. It's all right. You do what you got to do to stay happy. Sounds like a man not worried. I mean, on on paper. Uh, why would he be? He shouldn't be worried about anybody Thank in you. the division. No. Thank you, Paul. You I got mean, the Dodgers if they get their pitching figured out, and that's about it in the NL. Yeah. Am I right about that? Am I missing anybody? I don't think so. Yeah. It'd be okay. Remember, they still have Mookie still out. So, I mean, the next closest person you got is like Milwaukee, I think. And Ooh. And I can't name two people. I can name one person. I can't name two people on the Brewer, so. Q Tony P. I think that's uh, that's where we actually need him to come in and tell us a little, little bit about that. The that would be cool to see. You know, Reese Hopkins play against his old former team. Mm. I like that'd that. Good, that'd be cool to watch. I like him. He's he's a good dude. How's he been doing uh, since he since he left? I don't hear his name. Uh, I, I think I think the Brewers only have him as a DH, and he's he's average. Nothing nothing crazy. Yeah, I've, I've been hearing him on Sports Center and on the little ticker. I'm not seeing Reese Hoskins all over the place. Yeah. But no, I, yeah. I, 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 I liked him too. I thought I was a fan mm-hmm. of him as well when he was coming up. Yep. Michael, where are we at with the uh, hashtag 100 grimaces? I was really hoping that was going to get some traction. I don't know where that's coming from. Hashtag hundred grimaces. So I'm that's sorry. From, that's, I'm that's sorry. From last it. episode. That's from last episode. It might have been actually from Paul, but I, I remember hearing a uh, hundred grimaces and a thousand beers. Oh, oh, oh! oh I don't, yeah, but I, yes. Oh I mean, no, nah, we were we were talking about when the Mets come to Philly. Yeah, that's yeah, what we were okay. talking about. Yeah, and that doesn't okay. happen unfortunately until September with this stupid new schedule, which is just ridiculous, man. I I loved it when. The Mets and the Phillies played, you know, a hundred freaking games out of 162 games a year, it seemed like. And and the same with everybody else in the division. Now we play like, I don't know, 10 games, 12 games, whatever it is. It I, I feel like there's like more nothing. interleague. I feel yeah. like there's more interleague games than than division. So many more. Yeah. 
they ch- I don't know I don't know if it was this year or last year they changed that schedule the way that worked. You used to play so many more rivalry games, so mm-hmm. many more in the schedule every year, and now you yep. play a lot, lot less than we used to. But they jam pack it right towards the playoffs when everybody's playing everybody in their division, right? I would guess they do that a lot. I know that the Phillies play the Mets in Philadelphia in September because I was. And they looking, do it in football, you know, too. specifically to see, yep. you know, when I might be able to get to a game up there and then drive up. So NFL is famous yeah, for that. It's, you it's, play your division like first exactly. one or two, the very, very, very almost the first game of the season, then like the last five or six. All to division. Decide who, to, to decide who goes to the playoffs, who wins the yep. division. And that makes sense. And all that stuff. Yeah. Tiebreakers. Yep. Yep. So also what I'm hearing though, Michael, is that you have more than enough time to get this movement going. That's that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> the movement is going. We don't need to get it going. We just need to keep it going. Whoa. <laughs> From fans like you, sir. That's what I'm talking about. I will gladly. So we are the best movement. team in baseball since June 2nd or June 1st. Ooh. I don't know. It's June 1st or June 2nd. But we, we, are, we have the best record in baseball, right? I mean, for what's that? Six since June on seven weeks. But that's who has the best record size. since the season started, though? Is it the Phillies? Yeah, I don't uh, know. Yes. Honestly, it was. Good. Yeah, it was you guys, Phillies. I know it you guys was the, are right as, there at as the of, top. But yeah, it was the other New York sure team until the they reversed. I, I reversed, was going to uh, say it flip flop. Yeah, yeah, but it's, the it is the Phillies right as of now. right now. <laughs> no, the Phillies are. I, mean, I have. I can't argue that the Phillies are good. The Phillies are great. They're not just the Yankees. Good. They're, the they're, Yankees suck, but if I had to cheer for a, one of those two teams, I'm going for the Yankees. Come on, now. they have way better players than the freaking Mets do. Can mm. someone explain to me why the Marlins keep making big trades with the Yankees and then continue to suck? Like if because I'm seeing that they're trying Illusion. to get, I forget who would it, the, their new. It's they're all about the money. Right it's all know, about the money. Who was down there? You had you had. Adequate prospects. Yeah, Don, Mattingly, they be Don Mattingly is a coach, and you had Derek Jeter down there also in the front exactly. office. He's he's in the front office, exactly. And that explains everything. Uh, illusion. Yeah. Illusion. Yep. But it's okay. They can keep doing that because, look, they got Stanton, and he hasn't done nothing. That's he true. Plays, he plays two or three games, and then he's injured. Oh, he's, he's hurt. He's the Ben Simmons he's, of Major League Baseball. Getting yes. paid out the wazoo. Thank you. Paid out the Thank wazoo you. for nothing. The for nothing. For nothing. Simmons exactly. Or Major League Baseball. That's and, and and the crazy thing is that's the that's I think that's the worst thing about baseball. And he's not that money. All the money's guaranteed. Whether yeah. you play, what's well, because you're not or supposed to get play. hurt. How could you possibly get hurt? You can't get hurt. <laughs> if you get hurt, hey. I mean, it's ridiculous. These people are built like bricks, like Bryce Harper. Pretty sure he's a. He's pretty in shape. He can move. He can you know lift. He can do whatever he wants to. Damn it, if he can't, like, he doesn't have to have two oven mitts on and, like, braces all over so he can, like, <laughs> you know, just run out to first. 90 feet. 90 feet is a task. The way that he touches first base, everybody is cringing. How did you touch first base? Dude, I, it's ridiculous. And it's not just him, obviously, but, I mean, when you pull up the, the you, dual. You just, you just want to pick on Bryce Harper. It's okay. It's all right. I understand. <laughs> well, I, I mean, understand. just like Mike, I mean, I was a pretty big fan of him when he was on the Nationals. Going to the Phillies wasn't my idea of, of a good time. But so Mike never said he was a fan of anybody on the Nationals. Mike said he wished that when he was a free agent, he had gone to the Mets. Mm. Way different. Fair enough. <laughs> well, where are we at Whoa, with injury? Take it with easy. Team, Lewis? That's what I want to know, because I know Harper was hurt, came back. Out of uh, we're, we're, we're good to go right now. Shorebaum is huh. back. Yes, sir. Yep, they're all back. The matter of fact, matter of fact, time. I think we had we had the most players in the All Star game. We had a total of eight. Yeah, because you had uh, the guy uh, replace Chris Sale. We, yeah. Why is Sale hurt? No, he just pitched on Sunday. No, he just yeah. Oh. That's all. Okay. By the way, boys, who won the uh, All Star game MVP? Some guy no one I, has ever heard of. Who won? I, I didn't see it. it. Some guy Duran, Duran, Jalen Duran. Duran Duran, yeah, on the Red Sox, man. Come on, now. Oh, I'm just okay, saying. I was right. you guys. Wow. Man, man, man. 
They just hit, hey, he just hit one at, home run. He was fine. He didn't do anything. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay. But the point is, is that we are on the 20 year anniversary of when we won the first championship. So we are on that average of every four or five years. So I'm just saying, I don't know. I started talking about it and all of a sudden. Yeah. I guess I guess they all got a new Apple iWatch too, right? So they can hey, send their whatever, signals. Man. Whatever they got to do. Man. Get Belichick out Cheaters. there. Start stealing plays. Oh, yep. okay. They're not taking the banners down, are they? No, they're not. Not they at all. They didn't take down when Joey Crawford was blowing his whistle for Kobe in 2010. They didn't take that banner down. So, oh. hey, oh. can't okay. take back a it, it, it happens. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, besides the Phillies, you've got the two other top two teams in the entire major leagues in front of you. That's true. So even if the Yankees, like, you know, make even win 50% of their games, they're still probably going to have a better record than you. And the Orioles are just yeah. ridiculous. I was going to say that. The, 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 yeah, but the Orioles are playing real good baseball right now. Mm-hmm. No, they are, but I think we're like five or six out of first. I might be maybe a game or two off, but like we're Four and a half. right there. Four and a half. We're not, yeah, we're right in striking distance. Be worried, boys. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Be eh. afraid. Orioles are going to run that division. They probably will. But we get hot. That's all I know. We get hot, man. We're doing it right matter now. Fact, matter of fact, they're the, they're, that's the team that's going to come out of the American League. Who? Orioles? Oh. The Orioles. Okay. I can see that. Only reason I say no is not, I would say not yet. Um, you know, it's kind of like the, the Minnesota Timberwolves a bit. You know, they're kind of the younger team. They're going to yep. get there eventually, but they are so young that they don't have any experience out there in the in the playoffs. I mean, even guys, but, I mean, even teams like the Dodgers and stuff that have plenty of of, uh, uh, of experience in the playoffs, they still have a hard time putting it together. I mean, so uh, you get a, a team of baby boomers like that, and it's hard. Yeah. But also, American League won last night, so that means playoffs goes through the American League. Yep. Yep. They, they have home field advantage, which sucks, but hey, it's okay. It happens. <laughs> I guess that means... I, I love that that's your mantra. I guess I guess they should have been Duran then instead of letting him homer. Yeah. <laughs> should have just beamed him right to the head. But now, now, boys. <laughs> now, now. Before we go, before we wrap up the first half, Paul, tell me about the Braves. Just in general? I mean, they're pretty fantastic. <laughs> how you feeling? How you feeling going into the break? How you feeling going into the trade deadline? Uh, to be honest, I'm a little worried about the trade deadline because uh, I'm hoping that we make some moves like we did a couple of years ago. Um, mm-hmm. I, I definitely don't see us as sellers. I don't see us sellers for a long time, to be honest. Or at least a couple of years. Um, so I'm hoping we make some moves, get some veteran players in there. I mean, they're all going to be expiring contracts and people that aren't going to be long-term people, just like it was last time. Um, and I'm fine with that because it really worked out well. And as long as they can fit in the team, I- I'm happy with that. So people like Marcelo Zuna, who has, God, he should play for, Jesus, I don't know, the Bengals or something as many times as he's been arrested. But for some reason, he, <laughs> this year, he's, Put it back in the holster, and he's, you know, been a good team player. So I just want to make sure nobody messes up the team, the team chemistry. Um, the big bear. Yeah. So, I mean, I could use another pitcher. Uh, I could use another hitter. I could use a, uh, an outfielder uh, strictly to replace Acuna, who by all purposes was not, before he got hurt, was not having an MVP season like he did last year. Not at all. So I'm not saying that with him we that was been. crazy. It was crazy how much yeah. poor he, he poorly he was playing this year. Yeah. So I'm not saying that you know I would have put more stock in having Spencer Strider here uh, than having Ronald Acuna. So, but either way, I still want to replace what Ronald Acuna was last year. So uh, I mean, I'm I'm very optimistic. Our GM and uh, the whole team has is, is, is shown that they 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 can they do this. They work with this formula, whatever it is, and it, and it worked once. Uh, so you know, I'm hoping they do it again. And to be honest, I think there's going to be, like Mike said, I think there's going to be a lot of buyers. And so I I don't know what it's going to take. I don't. I'm not really looking to mortgage the entire farm system for you know for two months, two three months. Um, yeah. But I hope it's all the all the trades are smart. Um, because I think it's it, you're not going to be just people just begging to get rid of people. There's going to be people calling. 
more people calling than normal. Yep. Mm-hmm. I got to say something I find, I don't know if it's interesting or confusing or both, but the fact that the Major League Baseball has their draft right before the trade deadline. You know what I mean? Like, does that adversely affect teams and their willingness to make deals? Or is it like we just made these picks? So I don't, anything is, we give I don't you think is, so. is that what it was? Well, hmm? The draft? I thought it was a fashion show. Yeah. <laughs> It was. Yeah. No, that's, I don't. That's what it. That's what it looked like. No, I don't think it affects it much because you don't. Exp- nobody's coming to play this year. Nobody's yep, going to get no. called up this year. In yeah. most cases, nobody's coming to play for several years. Yeah, I mean, you saw what happened in in Baltimore. Oh, Jack- oh unless they're a crazy, big time, freaking player. Well, Jackson Nate Holiday Paul came Skeens. up. Jackson Holiday came up, and he went down. Just he went back just as fast. It was yeah, embarrassing. Yeah what he did and he got drafted like three or four years ago. So no, I mean, it's like how it used to be in the nineties when a NBA team would draft an international player. You're not drafting him right there. You're waiting for him to develop and then you'll bring him over after you make a deal with whatever international team he's playing. It's not like it is now. So now, yeah. so I don't think it really matters. You're not saying, Oh, I got my center fielder for the future. Now I'm not going to worry about getting one. No, you, you still need to worry about it if you need one. How about yep. this Paul Skeens kid? What do you guys think about him coming up so fast? Uh, I think he's incredible. Um, I hope nobody crowns him that quick because that never works for anybody. Uh, no. But I think it's pretty darn good. I mean, I I have a DH gate jersey on the way here of Paul Skeens for uh, for my youngest right now. So, I mean, he comes in from from nothing to to now starting the All Star game. He's the he's the favorite right now in 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 odds for um, Cy Young. Uh, Tim but what? Tim Kirkjian. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, listen to Tim Kirkjian. But he you is. Listen, yeah. You listen to Tim K about him. He goes nuts about him. Like he is like he is the greatest thing. The greatest thing. I mean he's he's already comparing to like the greats. Uh, wow. I mean, he's throwing hundred miles an hour plus on like a lot of pitches in the game, and he, he's he's the real deal. I wish he was on my team. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. I, 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 the one that I'm impressed with was uh, the pitcher from Mississippi State. He could throw lefty and righty. I saw that. Get out I of here. I saw that. He I was, didn't see that. that yeah. That's pretty cool. And then I think he kind of uh, looks like Seattle. Adams. He kind of looked like Pat Mahomes a little bit, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. They were talking to him. He's like, I don't know. I, I, uh, I'll pitch you the way they want. Which mm-hmm. you can hit, you can be a switch hitter. You cannot be a switch pitcher. That's insane. If you could do Dude, it well, that's freaking, that would be that's, an incredible that's freaking advantage. Cool. Absolutely, I would switch up every single time somebody comes up. It, it just it just sucks because yeah, but you got to let the umpire know that he's going to be pitching righty or lefty, which sucks. Do you? No, forget that. Do you? Yeah, you have oh, I didn't to. Know that. Yep. Yep. Makes Before sense. He starts pitching. Oh, they probably he needs him. to let the umpire know They're probably which way ball. he's going to be pitching. Probably There's some him. type of rules for the batters as well. I don't mm. like where I don't. I don't know. I don't. There's some rule where like they can't just switch back and forth every like every pitch or something like that. You know what I mean? Hmm. That's garbage. <laughs> Hot garbage. Wicked hot yes. garbage. Wicked hot garbage. That one's for you. Uh, that one's for you, Matt. Thank you. I will say that the very uh, deep Boston accent has got to be one of the most haggard accents anybody can ever have. I have to be honest. <laughs> I'm a hometown kid, but my <laughs> God. And then when you watch people trying to do it in movies and it's like, oh, no, no, no. You're making you're making us look too over the more top. Unintelligent. Yeah. yeah. Are you, uh-uh. are you, does that mean you're tired of watching Mark Wahlberg, who's from Philadelphia, try and pretend he's from Boston? I, look, man, Marky Mark is built into the. Uh, he he DNA loves him, Boston. He, yes, they, he loves him. You got no. I don't. Lo- I'm not saying I love him. I'm just saying every Celtics game, you got the new kid on the block sitting courtside. You got Wahlburgers. You got Marky Mark still doing shows. You got. I mean, it's the whole thing. So yeah, I mean, they're part of Boston culture one way or the other. So. I'm not gonna. I'm just saying, don't don't overdo it. It's okay. Tell them Makes that. Sense? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I know. All right, boys. We're gonna go into halftime. When we come back, we're gonna spin the wheel. We're gonna see how we can uh, collectively lose more points as a team, and then we're gonna do probably the greatest thing that ever existed in the history of anything. Matt Libs. Duh. So come back. Don't change that channel. 
Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the like. I don't know. Do leave a comment. Do the stuff. Do the internet thing. Okay. Show your love and support, especially the people on the podcast. My goodness. All right. It's halftime. Yeah, Paul. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. Just a few quick reminders for everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Michael Jordan is the GOAT. And check out our fellow podcaster, Jim Montgomery, with This Day in Philly Sports History. Thank you. And welcome back. (laughs) The Clashing Conferences Podcast Baseball Edition. I, there was a lot going on at the halftime, so before we spin the wheel, we got to suss this out, boys. I, I, word on the street is that Lewis's zero is better than Mike's zero. I, I need. I well, need well first of all, word on the street is that hey, Paul's hey, zero hey, is hey. actually a negative one. So we Paul's, we got to yes. discuss that with the audience first. Paul's gone yes. the negative one. He did not have five home runs in a game last week. He barely had five home runs all week all week long. The Braves stunk. He's a minus one. Me and Lewis are both at zero. We are currently tied at first place. My okay. zero is better than your zero. You visited the negatives. I have it. Ooh. So that makes me number one. Okay? I visited the negatives, but my team was actually better than yours last uh, week ooh, because hey, we actually hey, okay, scored okay. points. We had the most hits in a game. Hey. We had the most home runs in a game. We had the most walks in a game. Your your guys, did they play a game? You, you didn't really score any points. You just you just you were there. Hey, you know what the, you know what they say, right? Broken clock is right twice, twice a day. <laughs> hey. I thought you were gonna mess that up. I was getting so excited. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's it hey Mike, whatever helps you sleep at night. I know it helps us sleep all, at night. Hey. You know what, Lewis? I'll tell you what, bud. There's going to be What's a up? lot of weeks, I'm sure, going forward where the Mets don't score any points. So, you know, if you really want that argument to hold, then I'll talk to you when the Eagles or when the Eagles, when whoa, the Philly, whoa. when the Phillies are Drop. actually doing things and still scoring zero points, and you can you can tell me that I was right then. Where was your buzzer Never. on that one, Matt? Second, the Never. word Eagles comes out, it's a wrap. I mean, as soon as he said See? that, I just and started eight. thinking. And once again, that's why my Minus zero one. That was a curse. is better. That was a curse. My word. zero is better than his. Mm-hmm. Thank you. If that's a seltzer, you get minus one too, by the way. I swear to God, if that's a seltzer in your hand. What? It's are a you, Red Bull. What are you talking about? Okay. I, I think completely fine. We know you're blurry over there, so I'm just saying. Thank you. PG-13, boys. Okay. Energy drinks, water is allowed. Anyways, let's spin the wheel so that way we can try to get some points. Unless you're in Chicago. <laughs> Jeepers, Crouch. <laughs> We're going to have to see who can get the most <laughs> negative by the end of this thing. So, content manager, if you don't mind, pull up that wheel. Wheels. Sorry. Ba-ding. What week are, right. are we going to bring back the swag wheel? Ooh. I don't know. Which, who's, who's Steve's best friend this week? I think week 10. Any single player walks. Ooh. Uh, it sounds like a negative point for, for probably Lewis. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, so we doing negatives on that one too? Yeah. I would say that's Oh, a never plus. mind. It's walks by a pitch. Yeah, yeah, it is negative. It's the same. Or no, any Why? single player. So to me, that says a pitcher that gave up, which pitcher gave up the most walks to a single player? Like, Shohei, you play the Dodgers, and Shohei walks three times. That's a lot. Whoever No, no, no. It's any single pitcher. So if your starting pitcher gives up four walks in a game okay, and no other pitcher on any other team gives up four walks in a game, then you get minus one point that week. Fair enough. I so this is applicable only to pitchers then, correct? We're not looking at it from yes. a batter Yeah, because it says walks and then a P, which means pitcher. All right. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. And then Again, for any the- single player. So it's it's one single player from your team. The most walks they get. If it, you know if a reliever comes in, gives up three walks, it could be a reliever, but probably going to be a starter. 
Then we got okay. strikeouts for a pitcher. Team, team total. total. That's going to be a big That'd number. Be a fun one. Yeah. yeah, it is. I like that one. Yep. I see right. a double digit there if we get a big strikeout player. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Third time. Here we go. Uh, spin that again. Oh. We're not going to overlap. There we go. That's a good one. Team total oh, home runs, runs. Team total. Oh, who won that like last that? week? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Listen, dude, oh. that was last week. Leave it in the past, okay? Stop. I was just checking. I was just checking. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. I think we have stop. five in a game. That's a nice game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> hey, Lewis, goodness. didn't you guys give up eight in one, <laughs> one game? Yeah, it probably did. Hey, Paul, who's good still in that, first place? Good thing that who's, team's not in our competition. <laughs> who's, who's still in first place? We are. So it, doesn't, it, it, it doesn't matter. The Phillies are still in first place, okay? You're right. And so Matt, Mike and I still have to find ways to dig at the Phillies. If you're in first, we both agree you're the best team. So when we can say something no that, no, that, whoa, 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 that shows out, vulnerability. You, you agreed. You agreed. Mike still hasn't said it yet. I have said that multiple times, even today. I didn't, I didn't hear tonight, you. When? I said when? the Phillies were the best team. And, and when I was saying that the Dodgers were the only team that could possibly compete with them in the entire National League. What else do you want me to say? No, I just wanted to hear you say it again. They're pretty good. Thank you. I, I think that there is a mental block for Mike from all the past trauma that has been inflicted from <laughs> silly things. Uh, <laughs> right. You will <laughs> say it. You will like you. <laughs> the Charlie in the Bushes? Nope. No Bryce means Harper. yes. Bryce Harper. <laughs> no means yes. All right. So we got that settled. All right. So we'll keep an eye on the stats. We'll see who can, uh, if anybody can score some points, that'd be cool. Otherwise, we'll just have a bunch of guys tied at zero and negative one. If I would be fine at ending the season with that. If me and Lewis have zero and Paul's negative one, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a that's a winning season. So, so I'll tell you one thing. If, so, if, we, so, if I'm down by like five and there's one week left, you have to change who's who you're uh, sending this episode out to. I can tell you that. Mm. <laughs> if I can only get, so if I can only get three points and I'm down by four, I'm probably going to end up being down by 19. So, so mm -hmm. what are we going to do if we end up in a tie? I thought I was going to be a tie. What's, what's going to be a tie Steven breaker? already said he's going to give it to you. Yeah, it's like favorite. he's going to make an irrational decision. Uh, Maybe we no. can have he, all he, the past... He's Visitors not going to give it to me because he Come said, he's, you know, you try to pull the friend card and, and that I think that hurt his feelings a little bit. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> so I've seen the history of these things. Steven can get involved at the end. Just beware. Oh. Is that what you're Matt? Is that true? What? Is that Listen. true, Matt? All I'm going to say is, is that I came into this uh, uh, platform and I, you know, I'm out here winning rookie of the year. I'm out here collecting shirts. I'm out here going to parades. So again, you know what you can do? If you want to win, pick a franchise and pick a winner and then you'll be all right. That's and Matt, all Matt didn't know anybody from this whole regime six months, six <laughs> months ago, probably. So, I mean, rookie of the year, come a long way. Rookie of the year. You know what I mean? Look at me now. Winning, Got winning a championship right out of the gate. In multiple right. ways. I would I love, mic, I I would love I got for you to tell Chris that. Chris needs to know <laughs> that you are self-proclaimed Rookie of the Year, but you also have support. You know what? I don't even need to tell him that because you know who would be the first person to tell him that? His mom, my number one fan. So again. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I thought we she, were PG thirteen. She, she has actually like, no, no, said no, 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 that no, those no, are no, words no, out no, of her no, mouth. Sir, that she's sir, a fan of me. First off, we are not going to besmirch a woman like that. What I'm trying to say by keeping it PG-13 is that even a Lakers fan who watched a Celtics guy win still loves me. So, I mean, that's love. Come on. It doesn't get I was love. this close to talking about my laundry over there. This close. Mm. <laughs> but we're not going to do that. No, sir. We keep it professional. We are PG-13. Okay? So, again, pick a winner. Join the winner circle. That's all you got to do. Okay? All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. We good on that? All right. Paul, you know what time it is? Uh, let me look at the clock. Let me look around this wonderful man cave I have with the perfect lighting for a podcast. 
Uh, I do like your ambiance. Like I, w- I, like I would it. like to say it's 7.42, but I'm pretty sure it's time for Mad Libs. Oh, it is time for Mad Libs. Content manager, cue the music. Oh, one. That's going to come back and haunt somebody. No, no, no. They're, they're quick. They're quick. They're quick. Easy one goes bye-bye. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Again, Matt Libs will be, uh, you know, it's all the same, but still will be little variations here or there. So I will lead off with one individual question for each of you. But actually, the last two or three are going to be group questions. So I'm going to ask all of you the same question. I'm interested to hear your answers. So we'll start off with some easy stuff. So you're each going to have to pick one player from each of your storied franchises that gets to be with your team for forever, and one that you renounce their rights to your team. So I'm very curious to hear your answers. Paul, Chipper Jones or David Justice? Chipper Jones. That was not even half a second. Why? Uh, Well, I've actually seen both of them play before, like in the minors, but uh, Chipper Jones is, he's... He's our he's the Braves like Derek Jeter, and I'm not comparing his stats necessarily to Derek Jeter, but the the fan loving guy. I mean, same way that Freddie Freeman was. Freddie Freeman was going to be the next Chipper Jones um, mm-hmm. if he if his if his agent didn't screw it up. Um, if I had said Andrew Jones, would it have made it any harder? Or both Joneses are on the wall. Andrew Jones is right there. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, it would not have made. Uh, any any harder? No, not Andrew Jones. Uh, easily Chipper Jones. You could have said just about anybody, and it was going to be him. Actually, okay. oh, 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 off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody you could have said that I would have said over Chipper Jones. And again, I'm not claiming he's the best Brave of all time. He's not even close. But as far as a fan favorite and somebody who's like a lifer, I mean, you know, Reggie Miller's not the greatest player of all time in the NBA. But you ask who's the greatest, you know, pacer of all time? Obviously, yep. it's him. <clears throat> All right, Lewis. Yes, sir. John Cruck or Bryce Harper? God. I'll, I'll go with John Cruck. Okay. That, that he's got to go or you're keeping? Keep it. Okay. Keep Why? it. He's, he's a character. He's freaking the, the, the mullet, everything. He's just, he's just a character. Mm-hmm. You got to f- like him. I feel like he's missing something, though. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what it is. He's missing something. <laughs> I don't know what Brain it was. Cells, possibly. Ooh. I know exactly. Okay, you can keep it moving, but I know what you're talking. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Paul. Yeah, if you if you okay. if you've seen couples retreat, they, I don't know they, where you're going to, but yeah. I'm going with brain cells. It's, is my answer. It's, you know? it's, well, that too. I mean, if you, early, that's, what, that. that's what that's what you're missing, Mike. Mm. I agree. Michael. I agree, Lewis. But I'm right there on that level with Crucky. <laughs> <laughs> That boy's missing a lot. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Michael, Mike Piazza, Daryl Strawberry. Oh, wow. Oof. I wouldn't keep either Oof. of them. Whoa. Oh, no way. I want both of them, but for very different reasons, which makes it difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, like, you should have said David Wright. David Wright, you would have had your little Homer pick. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I'd take both those guys over David Wright. So Matt got that part right. Um, give me, give me strawberry. Let's have some fun while we're doing it. Okay. All right. Um, so the last three questions will be for everybody. So you're all going to answer them. Uh, we'll just keep going in the same order that we were. So all lead us off. Pick an AL girlfriend team. Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. What are you talking about? So in the basketball podcast, when we all jumped in, you had the Knicks, the Bucks, and the Celtics all kind of like duking it out for a second and third. And then you had the Hornets who were just bottom dwellers. So trying to keep things, as you guys said, uh, relevant or what do you do for uh, the competition if you have a team that isn't good or doesn't make it to the playoffs, what do you do? So we proposed that Michael could pick a girlfriend team of any, uh, doesn't matter where from, but he ended up picking another Eastern Conference team. So oh, we were- so, so picking a second team. <laughs> So you're yeah, going to pick a basically. second team that is in the AL, in the so that AL. way we don't have crossover in the NL. So if you were rooting for an AL team, looking for your dream World Series, I guess you could say, of some variety, who would you pick and why? Who would I want or who do I think? Who would you want? Uh, no one. 
Um, I mean, <laughs> that's a I, good I, an, That's a fan ooh, answer. I mean, that's a good fan answer. Like my team or nobody. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't want to hear. No, 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 girlfriend team. Let's go. Listen, if I was going to say no. anybody, I guess probably like Seattle because I used to like Seattle back in the day, like in 1990. Yep. Seattle was a hell of a team. Like the players that were on there with Randy Johnson, uh, Alex Rodriguez, Ken Griffey Jr., uh, Edgar, Edgar Martinez. Martinez, Like I would say Seattle and they're in no, you know, they're not in competition to overtake, you know, to win the world series. So I'll I'll say Seattle. It's not going to be, it's not going to be a major market team. I can tell you that. Okay. Hey, did they make you happy? That's the ultimate question. So if the answer is yes, then you pick the right team. Yeah, I'll go Seattle then. Okay. Lewis? I'll go with the O's. Like I said earlier, they're they're up and coming team, young. That's why I said, do I have to like them? Because I don't like the O's. Mike and I have too many fraternity brothers and people we know that are Orioles fans. And it's just real easy not to like them after talking to these fellas for about eight seconds. So... Well, I, I <laughs> hold on. Time out. Wait a minute. You two are a frat together? Yeah. No, we're what? not. It's a fraternity. Would you call your country up? Many years ago. Oh, what? <laughs> you can't call a fraternity a frat if you're not going to. You can't call your country. Does that make context or does Stephen reduce? <laughs> He's got to no, think about it. Like, let me stop. No, I'm not saying that. But, you know, it's there's the analogy. Yes, we were. That's why we know each other. I don't know how any of you people know each other, to be quite honest. So again, I'm just I'm trying to connect the dots here. Uh, right Steve, now. Steve knows everybody in Pennsylvania. Steve, yes, Steve knows exactly. everybody. Yes, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> the Wizard of Oz. He knows everybody. Yes, we know that. Good to go. Yeah. All right, Mike, girlfriend team. Uh, despite what Paul just said, I'm riding with Lewis on this one, man. The, the O's are an up and not only an up and coming team, but I loved going to the O's park. You know, yeah, every once in a while when they first opened up, they were, it, and it still stands up after decades. That's a great stadium. Um, but they were one of the first cities to like build a stadium that was not just bleachers and like make it a nice, like intimate setting and like see the skyline and like make it look cool. So like that, that's such a nice stadium. I loved going there. I'd go with the O's. And I would have, that's what my question, my answer was going to be the O's. I love the team that they've got. I mean, the, the the future they're looking at is is very bright. Mm. I would love to have that that sitting in front of me, but it's the fact that it's the O's. And I mean, dude, uh, I'm a big Tar Heel fan. Number mm. 22, 20 second pick in the draft from Carolina, Vance Honeycutt, amazing hitter, drafted by the freaking Orioles. Mm. So now, so now, dead to me. <laughs> So now look at that. We all, you guys, all have something in common that you didn't even know. Look at that. <laughs> Steve oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we know that one team is moving to Vegas, so therefore, Mike Jones, we already know you cannot use Vegas as an answer. I want you to put a little thought into this. I know again, sometimes Matt Libs is very. You know, Vegas up. is always my answer when there's. It's always to be Vegas. So, city, Vegas. With that said, you can move any franchise you want in Major League right now to any other city that you want, <sighs> one that has or does not have a team. Give me. Who would you move and Give me. why? Give me. Can I go, go. out of turn? Yeah. Go. I want to move the Yankees. And mm-hmm. and what initially am I what, when you first when you first started saying like move any team somewhere, I was thinking like, man, move a team to Hawaii. But no, mm-hmm. if we can move any team anywhere, I want to move the Yankees to Alaska, get them the <laughs> hell away from New York Mets. We're taking the you city so, over. You sound like a get hater. The Yankees gone. <laughs> put them in Alaska. That's easy for me. That is amazing. Great answer. I had a, Ball, I, had, I had a couple good zingers uh, for mine, but I mean, I mean, if we if somebody if they want to be a, rooted for in the states, you got to get the Blue Jays out of Toronto. Mm. It's. I, I mean, I, I was going to say move the de- the Devil Rays to literally anywhere else, to somewhere where their owner is not allowed to come within a hundred feet of them. Something like that, because I want to see them spend money. Like they, they, they piss off every other team in the league. Yep. Yep. Because they could still like literally tread water and spend literally the entire, like spend half as much as Ben Simmons is making this year. Yep. <laughs> and put a team out there. Uh, 
<laughs> you got something against Ben Simmons for not being a Sixers or a Nets fan, man. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure Karma, yeah, the Karma Jesus, waste of and money. everybody else does too. The waste of money. Seriously. So, Lewis, who are you the, moving and why? I think Paul will agree with me on this one. Nationals, send them back home. Expo. Yes. Uh, Come uh, on now. I hate it. I hate it. We're, I love We're kicking one team out of Canada and we're moving another <laughs> one back in. Yes. <laughs> I did like the Expos. The Expo. Yeah, I mean, I like the Nationals. Thank you. I liked it, but it was because of the Expos. Like, do I care about the Nationals? Exactly. I don't know. No. I like the, the Expos. Expos. Bring them back. You know, just. I, I like it. I think that there's a bunch of teams. So again, I'll just give you, I'll give you one well, that I thought can, of. Well, but. Can we can we put a, a tangent here and we can recreate the expos and and put them somewhere, like it you know bring back Vegas. the expos. There you okay. go. <laughs> well, I guess you're gonna have okay. to kick the A's back again. <laughs> yeah, Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. <laughs> the A's don't deserve uh, Vegas. Screw that guy. I would say now again, this is me picking because to me, there's a lot of middling teams in the MLB that have been bad for a long time. So I'll just throw one out there. I'll say the Minnesota Twins. But I think that something that would be interesting to see would be if they tried to tap into a major market such as uh, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Say like Alabama, for example. Now look at their college team for football, right? You can pack a stadium and put 60, 70,000 people in there because they love their team, but also they don't have any other teams to root for down there. So what if you took a major league team and put them in a fan base where you know that there's going to be a built-in market why not? That's the one yeah, thing I always wonder. I'm just going to say no. Yeah, thank you. I, I would say <laughs> no, too, just for the simple fact that you're comparing apples to oranges. You're comparing football to baseball. True. You know, just because they pack the stadiums for the football team doesn't mean they're going to pack the stadium for baseball. Well, no, so, until not only that, but but football is you're talking, you know, what, six home games a year, seven, at maybe seven you know, baseball, you're talking about needing to do it 80 times. 80 times, and, exactly. And you don't have the population numbers down there to... And you're going to have to, you have to do it over and over again, I don't think. And I you're going to need but. some assistance from Louisiana. And Louisiana and, and Alabama are might, might be you know, might as well be night and day. So you're going to... You can't just go... Like, Alabama can't be it by itself. It can't and be like, you know... It can't be like the Packers. Beyond filling a stadium, it's TV money. You know, well, you don't sure have you guys. don't have a big enough population to sell a TV package to somebody and a radio package to somebody. Yeah, you got you got to secure the big millions yeah, of dollars. You, you got to secure the big contracts first to make sure it. it and knowing that sponsors and knowing that you are teaching our youth, I'm very disappointed that you didn't put more research into this <laughs> because uh, there were on, 17 hold on. reasons. That's, 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 hold on, <laughs> the project ain't done yet. Hold on, I'm not done re presenting because another city that I could say would be Oklahoma City, who has a professional basketball team which has to play more than six games, right? So again, you see where if you can move a franchise to a fan base that is lacking, I mean. What else is everybody in Alabama doing besides going to those? But if you, I could be wrong, the but I think fair? Oklahoma City is a much bigger city than anywhere in Alabama. But you got to you got to be careful in the Midwest. If you look at a map of where all the teams are, yep. there's like sixty or seventy percent of the United States. There's no sports team there, and I think you True. know Oklahoma City is 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 borderline right there. You know, like yep. for baseball, you've got like you know the Twins, and then you don't have anything till the Rockies again. You know. Right. And then down in Texas. So I think you're you're teetering on it there, but I think there's not enough people. You're not far away from where they're going, though. They're going to Nashville. Mm. There's mm. a lot of talk. There's there a you lot go. of money. There you go. Um, yep. They're going to Nashville very, very it's, soon. I mean, it's well, yeah, that's uh, that probably would be the, the probably the best one for any of them. Let's oh, damn it. I like the Expos. Don't put them there. I hate Nashville <laughs> or I hate Tennessee. <laughs> Mike, Mike knows why. But no, I mean the Predators were an expansion team. The Titans were, an ex you know, were moved there, um, yep. and it worked just yep. fine for both of them. They've got huge yep. fan bases. That very big up and coming city. I mean, Nashville's been growing for two decades, probably yeah, in but, a very, but, but very big talking, way. We're talking about two physical sports. You know, there's a lot of people like to see physical baseball. They're gonna find it boring. Why do you think? Why do you think they added the freaking a clock to the pitcher? 
well, the hitter. If they, they're trying to move the game, mm-hmm. make it faster. Well, maybe they yep. could also do it, double it as like an outside event. So you could have country concerts and different stuff like that mm-hmm. in the off season. There you go. Wherever, yep. you know, other places at other times. So I think you could multi multi venue. Yeah, I think yep. you could multi access venue. Like you know, I like create like a new like staple center kind of thing. I don't mean it's got. To, I don't want it to be a dome, but you've got or, options. Or, or what? It, what is it that they have in L.A. that 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 dome? Yep. Milwaukee has it too. Do they? Stuff and all that. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I'm talking about that the the one they have in L.A. that they put the smiley faces on it, and mm. I, I got to look it up. The Chargers Rams Stadium. No, not SoFi mm. Stadium. Okay. There's there's a different one where they, they put all sorts of different stuff on it. All right. No, but I think actually Nashville is where, logically, not where we want, where it should happen. Nashville makes more sense than anything. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, like there's been serious I, I, I discussions with you. already about Nashville being an expansion city. It is, it is, without a doubt in my mind, on a very, very short list of teams that they have already discussed. Yeah, I can't. Places that they've discussed. I can't think yeah, of a the, I can't send, think of a better city Mets down there. I can't think of send a better city down there. I mean, maybe even like I mean, my next guess was going to be like Charlotte, but I don't, I don't think there's enough fan base down mm-hmm. there. But you know, yep. no, Nashville's perfect the, except the fact yeah. that it's people from Tennessee live there. That's the only problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Last Ooh. question. I, I, I'm thinking this will probably go a little quicker. So uh, last week we had each of you tell me about the worst That's what moment she said. that you had as a fan. <laughs> Shut up. You're going to get buzzed, sir. All right. So last week you told us about the worst moments that happened in your fandom. Now what I would like for each of you to do is tell me one of your favorite moments of watching the other two guys' franchises fail. So you can pick oh. your favorite moment of watching the Phillies or the Mets. God fail, Paul, and I know that each of you guys has at least one in your Rolodex, so go ahead tell me, which team and why? What was the best moment of watching them just flounder and fall on their face? I mean, mine was pretty Jeez. easy. I was in India last year for the, uh, during the World Series. Uh, and during the podcast, we actually had uh, Greg, Eagles fan, take off just so they could lose in Game 7, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, you losing in Game 7 was, was pretty spectacular. Uh, and I nice. enjoyed that from 17 time zones away. Okay. Hey, listen, you, you, I'll, I'll go next. You can call me cold-blooded, you know, whatever you want to call me. But as soon as I saw Cunha go down, your starting pitcher, I, I, oh, man, I was happy. <laughs> I took a few shots to that. Yeah, show and me again. Like, show me again how you take your shots again, Lewis. Oh, <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's not what you did the first Dude. time. <laughs> I went like this. I went like this first. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. So, Mike, is it Phillies? I know it's got to be Phillies. It's got to. Yeah, be of course, it's going to be Phillies. Oh, I thought I didn't know we had to pick. I, I, I mean, you, you, I, you I pick I, either. My, you pick other team, Phillies or the Braves. Team. If it's the Phillies, then it's every time the Mets beat them. <laughs> Every single time. So that's what it's you a hate. Great day. That's no. That he's asking for what we like the most, right? Not what we of the other. Our biggest failing. disappointment, but like our yeah. our biggest successes, and it's every time we beat the Phillies. Okay. We all we all know watching the other team lose is sometimes almost as good as watching your team win. Almost, not quite. Uh, I but say it's, at times I consider it better. Okay. There's a couple of sports and a couple of teams that if my team never wins another championship or whatever it would be in that, that league or sport, as long as this other team doesn't, I'm completely content. You can say oh, yeah. Topher's teams. All of <laughs> Topher's teams. <laughs> uh, just Topher in life. But yeah, I'm I just... <laughs> No, it actually none of them. Hold on, hold on. I can't. Hold on, I can't. Hold on. I got to defend my guy Topher here. Hold on for a second. We can't just be sitting up here knocking him around like this the entire time. He's a good guy. Let's be real. Oh, absolutely. No one, I, lo- I no got nothing but love that. for Topher, man. That's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's delirious. He's delirious. I don't want him to throw his shoe at the TV when he watches this episode because he's thinking this has turned into an intervention we didn't invite him to. So again, Topher, you're my guy. You know that. Also, thank you for your card last week. That was very sweet. I appreciate that. Tell Tony he doesn't have to write in crayon. It's okay. <clears throat> hey, hey, Matt, you, you got something brown on your nose. Seriously. Is yeah, that the dumb shit? Right on my I don't know about that. that. 
No, mm. you got, you got a little it's brown. It's not the dumb there. shit, but it's definitely some. Oh, some, I think some, it is, some, boys. Some, I think we actually we're getting up against the clock. So once again, I'm going to make my content manager's life easier by keeping an eye on the clock because that's what a good host does. So I don't know about you, boys. I'm ready to go upstairs, eat some chicken tendies, a little honey mustard. I don't know about you. What do you think? Some things to get into. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Yes, sir. All right. Well, then we know that. Is about that time. Does anybody want to say it? I know everybody's always chomping at the bit to say it. Who said that... you said it was on your nose? <laughs> it's Listen. that dumb shit. Are you going to be the AC Slater to my Zach Morris? Is that are we establishing our roles here now? Do you even know what the hell I'm talking about? I don't know, but they punch each other. Like, one. I, I, I saw him punch each other in the face one time. Lewis, you're about to get deducted a point. That Listen, I'm, I'm just a kid. Listen. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you tell your friends. If you're interested in doing a podcast sports related, give us a ring a ding ding. If you want to ask these guys a question, leave it in the comments section. Other than that, I don't know, boys. I'm good. See you next week. See you next yes, week. Sir. See you next Maybe week. Maybe have a special guest. Maybe get some points. Probably not.